guys, today I'm reading the treasure chest. Every week, Mrs. May took some of the children to the swimming pool. The children were good swimmers and they liked going with Mrs. May. The children were taking a swimming test. It's time to begin, said Mrs. May. Who wants to go first? We do, said Nadim. Biff, Chip, Wilma and Nadim jumped into the pool. The water was warm. Off you go, called Mrs. May. They had to swim up and down the pool. They had to swim ten lengths. Wilma was first to swim ten lengths. And Biff and Nadim were next. It was hard for Chip to swim the ten lengths. Come on, Chip, called Mrs. May. Don't stop. This is the last length. So Chip went on and everyone was pleased. Next, they had to swim to the bottom of the pool. They had to get up a brick and swim with it to the top. All the children passed the swimming test. Mrs. May was very pleased. Well done, everyone, she said. The children, were, the children were pleased too. Biff and Chip told Mum and Dad about the swimming test. We passed, they said. Mum and Dad were very pleased too. Mum and Dad had a surprise for them. Biff and Chip could see, couldn't see what the surprise was. What is it? asked Biff. It's a fish tank, said Biff. What a lovely surprise. Everyone looked at the fish swimming about in the tank. There is room for more fish, said Dad. We can get some next time we go shopping. The next day they went shopping. Dad took them to the shop that sold fish. What a lovely shop, said Biff. Look at all the fish. There were big fish and little fish. Kipper liked the big fish in the tank. Don't tap the glass, said Biff, said Dad. The fish don't like it. Dad put some more fish in the tank. He put rocks to, on the bottom. Next to the rocks, he put a ship. And a little box. Wilma and Nadim came to see the fish tank. It looks lovely, said Wilma. I wish I could swim in there. They went to play in Biff's room. Chip ran in with the magic key. The key was glowing. It's time for, a, for an adventure, said Biff. The magic began to, ha began to work. It took the key children into a new adventure. It's time it was a different sort of adventure. The magic took them underwater. The children had masks and flippers and tanks of water, of air. They could swim underwater. The children had never seen so many fish. They were all different colors. This is Better than the pool, thought Chip. I feel like a fish, thought Wilma. The children loved swimming under the water. It was lovely to see all the fish and swim with and to swim with them. Chip and Madam sw swam to the bottom and picked up a big shell. Biff looked at a jellyfish, but she didn't swim too close. They saw a ship under the water. It was an old ship that had been under the water for a long time. They swam up to the ship. Wilma didn't want to swim too close to it. It looked dangerous. They saw an octopus. Oh no, it was sitting on a chest. They couldn't look inside the chest with an octopus sitting on the lid. 
They blew bubbles at the octopus. The octopus didn't like the bubbles, so it swam away. Good, thought the children. Now we can look inside. The children opened the chest and looked inside. It was a treasure chest, and it was full of gold. Biff and Wilma pushed the chest over, and all the gold fell out. Nadim picked up a necklace, and Biff picked up a gold cup. Biff and Nadim were busy looking at the treasure. They didn't see what Chip and Wilma saw. A shark was coming. Chip and Wilma couldn't tell Biff and Nadim. They pulled them away and pointed at the shark. The children were frightened. They swam and swam, but the shark swam after them. Then the magic key began to glow. The magic. He took them out of the adventure. Wow, what an adventure, said Biff. The, the treasure chest was like the one in our fish tank. The children ran to look in the fish tank. Look, there's the treasure, said Chip. How did it get there? asked Nadim. It's magic, said Biff. I hope you liked the story I read to you. Please like. Goodbye.